Recently people posted pics of CAR-52s carrying asymmetrical fuel tanks on one wing only on the outboard stations. If fully fueled, these far outweigh most S8 rocket pods and six Vicher tubes, which beg the question why throw them outboard, where their greater weight would lean towards one wing. Artvark on the ED Discord asked if they might have something to do with the rotor separation at faster speed, so thanks to him for speculating this. So initially my answer was no, until I started trying to brain it out, after which I concluded maybe, that if we chuck on the tank or greater weight on the left, the heli would bank more to the left naturally. Since at faster forward air speeds you need a bit of left cyclic, I'm assuming to counter the differences of induced flow from the more widely separated rotors, that maybe with it tilting left now naturally, to compensate for the shifted center of gravity, you now had more of a right cyclic and thus easing up of that motion. Due to the fully articulate rotors, etc., maximum upflap of the lower rotors and maximum downflap of the top rotors isn't fully 90 degrees to the right. So the rotors get closest to one another at the back right. It's supposed to be minimum 63 centimeters separation even during aerobatics, but of course you can choose to push it closer towards death and the stated limits. Since more left cyclic has a slight effect on flapping up the right side to produce the lift tilting you left, the idea was that less load on the left would ease up that separation. To that end I did a few tests with just a full 550 kg fuel tank on the outboard pylons. This setup has no wind or turbulence, low down, easy on heat. And well, it turns out to be kind of accurate, at least in DCS. Left side only, the CG shifted left and naturally wanted to do the left bank. So my cyclic at fast speeds was almost neutral in left right. I could push it to the extremes of about 340 kph, at which point to destroy the heli. When trying the right pylon only, it wanted to bank like crazy to the right. And that was a bit slower. More so, if I tried leveling out the helo while maintaining the heading with pedals, so using a bit more left cyclic and a bit more right pedal, that snap came far sooner. So some comments on what you're seeing. To keep the results the same, I maxed out the collective, which tanked the rotor RPMs. I would have thought an 11% drop in rotor RPM might decimate lift, but I don't know, when I capped my collective's Y saturation to 60%, I achieved far slower air speeds than with the RPMs dropping to almost 80% going full collective. So, sorry for the RPM beeping noises, I guess. There was occasionally also a wobble in the heading hold. Turning it off might have alleviated that, but I didn't see enough difference in speed to carry on testing what that was about. For the extreme right-sided weight, trying to keep level made me use a lot of left cyclic and right pill, which was way worse. Trying to have more right cyclic and a bit more left pedal when loaded up on the left didn't seem to change my ability to go faster. Now great as that may seem, I don't think you'll be flying much faster loading up left pylons than being heavy on the right. Practically speaking, it seems even keeping it with a left outboard fuel tank and right side vickers, never mind adding rockets, the difference is practically gone. So, kinda yes, but practically no. Just load up, however you need to. This is Volk. Cheers.